Hey guys, today I am excited to talk to you about Agatha all along. Uh, I got to see the first four episodes and my biggest advice is to stick with it after the first two episodes. So for me, I don't know if I just set WandaVision so high that I expected Agatha all along to kind of do the same. I love Agatha Harkness. I love Katherine Hahn. I love her in this role. I thought she was fantastic in WandaVision and I was very, very, very excited for this series to come out. And I think, I honestly think that was my downfall. I set my expectations way too high. Now, I'm not saying I didn't like this series, but it starts off extremely slow, a little bit boring for me. It took a while to get there. There's certainly moments. There's a great line towards the beginning of the first episode that had me dying. Uh, you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. It's in regards to death. I will put it that way. And I was like, mm, I get it. I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing here, Marvel, and I love it. Uh, I felt like the detective stuff was just really over the top little ridiculous it was like fine for like three minutes and I got it for half an episode and I was like all right like I'm I'm kind of over this um then we did finally get Aubrey Plaza in the mix and I love her uh so I was very excited to see her and especially her and Katherine Hahn together I think they were fantastic um every moment that we got of them in this series so far in the first four episodes is untouchable it's so fantastic but after the first episode we do not see her until the fourth episode and we barely see her in the first episode but when we finally get to that fourth episode uh i really really was into it this was it, the fourth episode was by far my favorite i think the third was good there's some horror elements mixed in that i really enjoyed um and i enjoyed some of the comedy that we get in four uh but things start to get dark and heavy we get a lot more more questions we get a little bit of answers but it wasn't till the fourth episode that I really started to care, even the end of the fourth episode, second half maybe, that I really started to care about the answers to these questions. And I really started to think more and be like, no, I really wanna know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I wanna know how this all came about and I wanna know what's going on. Um, I do wish things were moving a little faster, but I think we're finally getting there, uh, which I hate to say because I know it's like fourth episode, that's like halfway through the season. So, but I'm, but I'm intrigued for what is to come. Uh, I'm looking forward for what is to to what is to come. I'm looking forward to answers. I want to know who the teen is. Uh, I have two thoughts that I go back and forth on, and I I came into this pretty solid, knowing that like I know who this is. And then of course Marvel is just throwing other little hints at me, thinking trying to make me think that's not true, even though I I, I feel like. You know, they always say, trust your gut, right? Never, never go back on your, on your answers. So I'm pretty sure I know who teen is, but, uh, but you never know. But yeah, Katherine Hahn is so good. And I just, I love her with Aubrey Plaza. I love her in certain moments. And I don't know if it's the writing. I don't, I don't know what it is, but the first two episodes for me, I, I just, my best advice, like I said to you is to keep going. By the time you get to the end of the second episode, I was like, okay, here we go. We're getting into this. Uh, and then was pretty happy with the third one. And the fourth one is pretty, pretty solid, especially towards the end. So I, I'm, I'm hoping it continues this trajectory and just gets better and better and better um, in, the, in the second half here of the season. But uh, based on the first four, I, I hope you all stick around and kind of, I don't know, maybe other people will like it better. I really, truly think that I just set WandaVision so high that I kind of screwed myself over on this one. Um, but I'm intrigued to see more, to say the least. So uh, you guys let me know if you're excited for Agatha all along. By the time this review comes out, the first two episodes are gonna be available to stream on Disney+. Plus. So be sure to check those out and come back and let me know what you thought. Do you think it's slow and a little bit boring at first? Are you into it? Are you into it? Am I crazy? Um, hopefully, hopefully this is just a me feeling and not a everybody feeling. Um, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. I will have the reactions up for all the episodes of the season, so be sure to stick around for those. You guys can follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you can check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks. I'll see you next time.